Hey everyone, it's time for another Pick, Pick of, of the Week! week. It's um, a bit cooler today. It's raining. It's raining, so yeah. Cool. Uh, I, I'm going to say it. We needed this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure all the farmers out there are very happy. Yeah. Let's just hope we don't go the Nova Scotia route, though. You know. Yeah, the scary flooding. Um, yeah, what did I get? Three months of rain in one day. In one day just yeah. terrifying. There was someone in yesterday, and they just moved here three days from Halifax. Three days before it happened. Oh my goodness! Good were, timing. Yeah, they were like, yeah. I mean, everything was on fire, and then it was flooded. <laughs> it was just like, yep. Biblical proportions. Yeah. What do we got going on? Book book club. Book club is on Monday. Um, we're still not the book, but you can come. We're gonna do a little comic show and tell if uh, you want to come and share your favorite comic um tell us all about it um and just you know hang out it's a good crew we've got folks coming in online so you don't you, you can join us in person but we've got we've had folks from ontario i think someone's going to join from atlanta so it's international um so yeah it's a great i know folks watch us from all over so yeah if you want to come in for book club it's on zoom send us an email for the link yeah get on it um, and regatta is oh. next Wednesday, so we might be closed. We'll see what the wind we is like. We might not be closed though, so uh, we'll see what happens there. Uh, we're also open until 9 on Wednesdays now, so you can, on New Comic Book Day, come in late. Yeah, stroll or by. Yeah, or <laughs> We usually don't have the comic ready until like 1 or 2, so yeah, wait till the pick goes up. Yeah, don't judge us though, you know, sometimes they don't show up on time. You want to do the new previews? Yeah, what do we got? We got, uh... The new Marvel previews, the new DC. Marvel is hyping up Gods, a new comic book from uh, Jonathan Hickman. Hickman's the man. He's the, he's the legend. Uh, the real awesome part is that they got like the first like so many pages of issue one in here. And honestly, I can't tell you how many times I've read this over and over again. I can't wait for this book. Valero Shitty's artwork it is amazing. This guy is just every time out, he's just getting better and better. So definitely pick this up. What other good books in here? Yeah, they don't usually include previews in the Marvel yeah. catalog. Yeah, so. well, Hickman's the man. That's He's exciting. the guy. Uh, this one leaked everywhere because comic shops got it in and people just had to post pictures. But we got the Justice League versus Godzilla versus Kong. <laughs> it's a, <laughs> They're going for a Boom Studio level title there with all the names. But uh, yeah, we got some more preview artwork of that one in here. There's some other big titles in this DC one. Uh, one I really want to shout out is the new batman book of course it's dc but uh christian ward is doing a batman book and he has posted like this like uh, cthulhu-esque batman over the years just like as fan art and now it's becoming an actual book look at this creepy batman down there so yeah this one's gonna be a lot of fun and then we got the actual previews just came in and distillery is on the cover with gone jock's new uh, independent title I had a chance to flip through here, but I'm sure there's some preview pages. And uh, yeah, Distillery, big up and coming publisher. We should all be checking them out, keeping an eye on them, because I think they're, they've got like some of the heaviest hitters in the industry making books. So, I mean, James Tinian, Jock, Jock people, Jock is so good. Uh, Randolph. Yeah, right? <laughs> so they're, they're, Women are there too. Yes, yeah, <laughs> there are big names here. There's tons of people. I could not name them all. But Jock is up first, so definitely check this guy out. You want to get to the picks? Yeah, what's your pick of the week? My pick of the week is Superman, The Last Days of Lex Luthor. This is from Mark Wade, Brian Hitch, and Kevin Nolan. And i got to check out the colors here. David Barron. This book is awesome. It's kind of like a spiritual successor to Batman, or Batman, Superman Birthright. And uh, it's awesome. Basically, Lex Luthor is uh, a dying because he was experimenting with kryptonite. And now he is dying because of it. And he goes to the one person he knows uh, is too nice not to figure out a way to save him. Superman, his mortal enemy. And uh, Superman is basically at his wit's end having to deal with hanging out with Lex Luthor, but also trying to uh, cure him because he's dying. It also has a lot of flashbacks to when they were in Smallville together that are really good. But the real highlight here is uh, Brian Hitch's artwork, inked by Kevin Nolan. So it's got a real big cinematic Brian Hitch feel with that expressive Kevin Nolan face. It is really, really good. Story really picks up. It really dives into like obscure Superman stuff and like, I don't know, it's just a lot of fun. And the dynamic between these two is hilarious. Also, magazine size, everyone knows I'm a sucker for it. So definitely pick this one up. We got this main cover 
but I just got to shout out Chris Samney on this variant. That is like, it's gorgeous. yeah, it's just so iconic. Mm -hmm. What do you got? My pick of the week literally just came in today. It's the Ribbon Queen uh, by Garth Ennis and illustrated penciled by Jason Burroughs. Um, I, my pick, I picked a while ago, Garth Ennis's Peacemaker one shot. And so when this came in, I was, I was intrigued to see what he does with it. Um, it kind of plays off, um, in the beginning as like kind of a typical, um, cop story, crime story. Uh, you've got some corrupt cops doing not cool stuff. And it's interesting. It kind of takes place in a very like Black Lives Matter or post Black Lives Matter world uh, where people are more critical of the police and kind of the backlash to that. And I guess also like kind of a Me Too, post Me Too world. Um, and it's a, it's definitely a pretty gripping story. And then I don't want to reveal too much, but there is kind of a supernatural twist at the end um, where we kind of get introduced to the Ribbon Queen. Hell hath no fury, like a woman scorned. Um, so yeah, I, it, the, I would say the first issue just kind of gives you a sneak peek. I'm really excited to see yeah, where he goes next with this. It's going to be good. Uh, a good story of vengeance. Probably for a good cause. Yeah, Garth Ennis is always a good read. And uh, gory, as always. <laughs> yeah. What do we got for the giveaway? We got All right. Best time of the video. Wolverine 30. Icon versus hardware number one. And Hexware from Tim Seeley. And our winner is two of five, M. Chafe. Congratulations. Yay. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in. See you next time.